Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today we're going to talk about how you come up with ideas for your campaign or for your one shot. Over the 35 years that I have been a GM, there's one thing that budding GMs always ask me. John, how do I come up with an idea for my game? I have writer's block. I can't come up with anything. Well, what should you do about that? I don't get writer's block when it comes to creating D&D &D adventures. I always have something to come up with. Now, if you go on YouTube or you buy the books for GMs, they tell you go steal from movies, get inspired by movies, get inspired by fantasy books. I'm sorry guys, but that is garbage. That is plagiarism. If you want to publish it one day, you probably don't, but it is. And the other thing is, it takes away the joy of creating an adventure, at least in my opinion. How do you go about that? What you see behind me at the screen are the 101 most common verbs used in the English language. And what are we going to do with that? Well, it's simple. You're not going to hire your players to do your taxes. There's certain things that come with your adventure. If you let them do your tax, as in the campaign, please do share that in the comments. I would be interested. But all of these here are actions, as I said, a verb. How do I come up with a campaign idea? Right here, I have two 10-sided dice. So let's roll and see what we get. First number is 50, land. My second number is 79. My third number is 98, visit. And my fourth number is 40, four verbs that I have rolled for our heal, land, rid, and visit. Let's come up with a story on the fly. My adventure would say, my heroes have to visit a lost temple where they are going uh, to acquire healing herbs or a healing talisman. That healing talisman is one part of what they need to get rid of the disease that plagues the king. In order to get the other part, they have to land on a lost island. So there you have it, guys. This is how it gets your extended storyline. Now, I'm going to split this video up in two because I don't want to make the videos two. But for practical things, you can either use my list if you want, eh, want to copy it, or you can make yourself your own list of the 100 most common verbs in the English language and then do what I do. Roll four random numbers, use your creativity, and you come up with your story right there on the spot. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is John, the RPG Lord. And remember, there's only one RPG Lord, and I wish you guys a good day. I see you in the next video.